Hey guys, it is Margaret and welcome to the Sunday Talk, the weekly goals chat. Uh, I like to come on every Sunday and just kind of hang out for a bit, talk about what's been going on this week, talk about what the plan is for the upcoming week. Um, this usually helps me out, get my week set and kind of know where I'm going, think about where I've been, uh, take a moment to reflect so I'm not just this train barreling down a track that goes who knows where until I realize, wait, this isn't where I wanted to go. Um, so yeah, let me say hello over in the comments section. And um, oh my gosh, my chat is jumping all around and I know there's people up above and it's not letting me go up and see you. Okay, so sorry if I missed you. For whatever reason, the chat thingy is not letting, let me reload this page real quick because it's not letting me um, scroll back up to the top. So I can't see who all was there. Maybe if I reload it, it'll behave better. Behave yourself. I'm, I'm not in the mood <laughs> today. You'll see. So hi, Henry. And oh, it's doing it again. Okay, sorry, y'all, if I missed you. So hi, I see Henry's there and Angie Turtle Trader. Hello, latest grace. Hello, hello, everybody. Um, let's see. Oh, dear. Angie, I missed you, too. I missed you live. It's been a day. I tell you what. Hi, Reverend Michelle. Hello, hello, Jason and uh, Trace V, HB Picker and Karen. Hi, Faith Rachel. How are you? Um, hi. Okay, I already said hi, Turtle Trader. Cleo, Nevada. Yes, everybody, go watch Angie, Angie's video because I missed it too. So, <laughs> hey, Nevada and Kathleen. Angie's is treasured vintage, so go check it out. Kathleen and Debbie. Hi, Jeff Davidson and what you selling? City Picker. Wow, we got lots of friends here today. Hi, Christian. And Diane, Oga, Oga, hi, hi, Saint Girl, hello. Okay, 38 viewers so far, hello. Go over there and hit that thumbs up while you're still thinking about it and while I'm still thinking about it. Um, so yeah, more friends coming in, Saint Girl and Kim and Rose. And hey, Rose, that just reminded me, I, I got your email. I have a few um, messages and emails that I've gotten that I haven't had a chance to respond back to, but, but tomorrow morning, for show, it's going to happen uh, because we decided to take like a little mini vacation. We left Friday. And then, of course, because we made the reservation, my son says, hey, mom, I'm going to get strep throat. So that happened, too. <laughs> but of course, he, he was like devastated, like, no, I still want to go. So I'll tell you the story about that in a second. But yeah, <laughs> it all worked out and everybody's fine. So yay. <laughs> So, uh, okay. Hey, Nini and Better Barbie and Peter, I'm going to get started in a second if you're watching this later. Just hang on. Uh, Virginia, hello, and Robin, lots of people I don't know. So if you turn out to be trolls, I'm not in the mood for it today. I'm just going to say, I don't do a lot of rants, but I'm going to have a little bit of ranty time, a little ranty time today. So I might need to go get my pacifier after and, <laughs> and have a little, a little baby time. I don't know. what he, I don't even know what that means, but you know. Whatever. Okay, so let me get started. <laughs> I've had it. Have you ever just had one of those times where you're like, that's it. I am up to here with it and I can't take it anymore. And no more Miss Nice Text, if that makes sense either. <laughs> no more Miss Nice Mom or Lady, whatever. Okay. So, oh, look, first thing on my talking points. Fr oh, friend mail. Rose. Oh my gosh, I left it on the dresser out, out in the other room. So I got this awesome friend mail from Rose, and I feel really bad that I don't have it here to show you, but I did leave it on the table in the other room. So Rose sent me a box of jewelry a while back that I took two videos to unbox. It was super nice of her. And then she sent me, um, I guess, a piece that was for one of the pieces in the box, but then she also found me this really nice um, silver necklace with a little M pendant on it, and it's so pretty, but I'm going to have to show it to you later which means i get to talk about it twice yay <laughs> but it's it's in the other room look that's the first thing on my list to talk about go margaret this is off to a great start mary says i sent you a, a f about the ring okay cool mary yes i'm behind i'm so behind but i have it sitting right here right there so it's separated from everything else because i remember you saying <laughs> oh good rose thank you <laughs> hey quincy coons hello hello okay all right so Friend mail, and if I hear my husband walk by, I'll, I'll yell at him to grab it. Um, that That's something I wanted to talk about. Okay, yes, she is, isn't she, Angie? So, something else that just happened, and tell me what you think about this, because, again, not reselling related. My brother just turned 46, which is really bothering me, because he's three years older than me. That means that next month in May that I turn 43, which is, I'm not <laughs> I guess it's not so bad. You know, it's when you get to those milestones that you, you start like, ah. So anyway, but seeing my brother inch closer to that milestone, like, 
was talking to my mom about it. Mom, like he's almost 50. That's weird. Wait, no, that's not right. Cause that means I'm, I'll be right behind him. Right. Pardon me. Thank you, Debbie. So anyway, but here's what I had for him because you know, my brother's really hard to buy for and my son James has really gotten into chess and my brother likes chess too. So I said to my brother, I called him up on his birthday and said, Hey Jay, you know, Hey, instead of a present, how would you feel about an experience? And he's like, uh, what are you talking about? Margaret? I said, okay, here's what I want to do for you for your birthday. <laughs> in the chat, they're giving me no sympathy for turning 43 next month. There's Angie's, I'm not going to yell out names. Angie's like, okay, try this number. And Mary's like, I'm this number. So forties <laughs> are the best years. Karen says, this is true. Kathleen says 40 was fine. 50 was devastating. HB Picker says 38 on Wednesday. Happy birthday early 38. Dude, you're a youngster. Wait, no. How old am I again? 43. Oh, that's right. Okay. I was like, wait, I'm still in my thirties, right? No, no, Margaret, you're not. So anyway, I tell my brother, okay. And then making me feel even older on our vacation, little mini vacation. We stopped by a cemetery, which I'll explain again to you. We stopped by a cemetery yesterday and it's a really old cemetery for, for the States, as I was telling some of my UK friends, like, but they were a lot of the people from, you know, 1800s into the early 1900s were like in their fifties. So I was like, Oh man, if I was living then, whoo. Okay. But anyway, okay. The experience. So my, I say to my brother, okay, here's what I want to do. You guys are both really into chess. My eight-year-old, no, he's nine, nine-year-old. I'm good. Not good with ages right now. My nine-year-old is so good at chess. It took me 45 minutes to beat him. Like if I play, when I, when I first started playing with him, I, I play a game with him and just think, I'm not even going to focus on strategy. I'm just going to make sure he's knowing how to move the pieces and think about things. And then suddenly like he was beating me really fast. So I had to like focus to like play a good game with him. So he, it took me 45 minutes to beat this nine year old. Okay. And I'm an okay player. My brother's really good. So I said, here's, here's the experience. I want to set up a chess by mail thing. So I'm getting a whole bunch of index cards and I'm going to put all of our, you know, our address and return address and, and postcard stamps. And they're both going to have like, like old school chess by mail before computer age, you know, so they'll have to like put their move on the, the card and send it in the mail to, to each other. I think that's going to be so much fun. <laughs> anyway, so he was super psyched about it. And he, um, I don't know if I have the picture, but he, he went and set up his uh, chess board. Let me see if I can pull it up. He's ready. Let's see. He did. Okay, he did. Here, let me show you the picture. So he set up his chess board. Okay, he's geeky like me. And he's got like a, a pewter griffin on one side and a pewter unicorn on the other. And, and he's, he texted my son and said, bring it, buddy. So, <laughs> all right, he's ready. So now I just have to get these cards going and get that rolling because I think they're going to be really uh, excited for that. Anyway, so what you selling says he, either he, she's heading across the pond soon. How's the weather? I'm guessing cold and rainy. Um, <laughs> Okay, so that's going on. Okay, and then we did take a mini vacation to Galveston. I think you have to do this. Pardon me, my mouth is a little dry. No, it's not marijuana. It's not legal in Texas. Anyway, not that I would use it anyway. Who knows? <laughs> but here we go. So my guys are like so fried from school, but they still have like five or six weeks left. And then my husband's been working his tail off and I've just, I mean, it's just been, everybody's been everywhere. Right. So we decided we we're going to take a mini vacation and go to Galveston, which is like maybe an hour away, you know, go to the beach and hang out. So we get the room and then, you know, it's non-refundable because it's too close to the date or whatever. And then I pick my son up from school and he's like really kind of cranky and he says his throat hurts. I'm like, Oh no. Oh no. So we get home, take his time. Sure enough, he's got a temperature. Um, and I, I'm just like, man, this looks like strep. So I took him immediately to one of those minute clinics. Um, and sure enough. And then of course my throat starts hurting cause I'm like sympathy pains. I'm hoping. So we both get swabbed. He's got strep. I don't thank goodness, but she goes ahead and like treats both of us, gives us the meds. I, I didn't take mine. I just put them up just in case. But so we were able to start him on his, um, 
meds, like for the antibiotics, like right away in the Motrin. And so he was like, it's cle it's cleared up almost completely. He had a little bit of a fever one other time, but I think we caught it so fast that, um, yeah. And he was so dead. He was like, are we not going? Are we not going? I'm like, no, we're going, we're going, we are going, you know, like we're going to the beach. It's not like we're going to touch the sand and give somebody strep throat. So we're good. Oh no, no, don't let your throat hurt. There's something in the air. It's allergies. That's what mine was. That's what the, the lady said at the minute clinic. Like, no, no, yours is drainage. Yeah. Sorry. Is that like lies? I was telling my friend AJ hurt her, her. She did that too. We went walking yesterday and she said, as soon as I started talking about strep, cause her daughter and James are in the same class. So I texted her was like, PS James has strep. Hope your daughter doesn't get it. You know? And, she, and so her throat started hurting. <laughs> so we went for a walk and she was like, thanks a lot. Now my throat hurts. I was like, well, it's not like I brought up lice. Cause then your head will start itching too. Right. <laughs> So that happened. Um, so yeah, we did go, you know, and on the way out, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted one of the pictures. We went, we, there's this old cemetery in Galveston, you know, and it's got all these big headstones and mausoleums and stuff. And then um, it was just covered in wildflowers, like yellow, bright yellow wildflowers and some red. And so we, we stopped and got some pictures. It was really cool. Let's see. I'm looking in the chat. I'm missing, I'm sure I'm missing people. <laughs> Rose says we should all buy stocks in the green weed stuff. We could be millionaires. Is there is there stock I can buy? <laughs> I'll buy it. I believe you. <laughs> yep, yep. Oh, cool. Okay, and, and Rachel's going to Vegas coming up in May. I wish I'd be able to see you, but Vegas is far. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, dear. Oh, my gosh. Rose says my little grandson had strep in his ear when he was two months old. I believe it's all connected back there, right? Okay, so next up on the list of things to talk about is Paula says if you get strep, you may be a carrier of it. You know, here's the thing too. So I posted that, you know, because my school like has a website or a Facebook page rather. So I posted on the Facebook page, hey moms, you know, or dads, my kid has strep. I don't know if it's going around, but he's, you know, this is what's going on. Um, and so I had a couple other moms post, oh my gosh, my son had it two weeks ago. And then Michael's teacher is on the page. And so she says two kids in her class had it this week. And so she thought maybe he was the carrier and brought it home to James. Like that's a possibility. Yes. Virginia saw the picture with the, the flowers and the bees. Yeah. There was one with the bee. Yeah. Okay. So here we go going down into my list. So we took that mini vacay. That was cool. Went to the beach, you know, got up early. The boys had never had room service. So we tried once before and room service failed. But so we got room service. It was, you know, just the, for the novelty of it. Pardon. We stayed at the Galvez, which is a really old hotel in Hugh, in the Galveston. It's like one of the, probably the oldest hotel in Galveston. It survived many a hurricane. Okay. So Okay, so next up on the list is that I'm super close to 10K. I think I'm like 50 away or 60 away, something like that. So I do have, like this is coming up, so I'm gonna do this for the 10K giveaway when it happens. And then also, we're going to do a, a reseller's price is right. So we have done it three times, Nick has done it, Nick Hills. And I've been on those with him, it's super fun. So he's never got to participate. So he said, Margaret, I don't know what you're doing for 10K, but here's what you're doing. I need you to do a Price is Right so that I can play. Cause he's always the one, you know, with, that has all the, knows all the answers. So he never gets to guess. So I told him, okay, I'm gonna, I'll do it. Rachel, I haven't heard back from you. Are you gonna do it? Let me know. Okay, so it, I know it's right around baby bedtime too. So we'll see, we'll see. So I've got, one US person lined up. I'm going to try to get one more. So we have kind of a US UK thing going on. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. So that that's coming. And also on my other channel, I just started, I only have three videos up and the, the link is below. It's called a box of chocolate frogs, um, where I'm going to be sharing more like unboxings and goofy stuff, you know, like nerdy type things. I'll still do some here on this channel, but a little bit more over there as well, but I just hit a hundred subscribers over there. So I'm doing, I'm going to do a giveaway on that channel too. I'm going to give away because it's nerdy stuff. I'm going to give away a Harry Potter's um, birdie bots, every flavor beans and a chocolate frog. These are Harry Potter, you know, chocolate frog comes with wizard card. So those will be for the giveaway for that one. So go over there, make sure you're subscribed and join in the fun, right? Cause why not? 
<laughs> right? That's why you subscribe to things. Eh, why not? Right? Okay, so hey, more people in the chat. Uh, thanks for coming in. All right, so hello, Freckles. Um, will you be able to let us know ahead of time for the Price is Right game? I will. I will for sure. Yes, because because it was live too. I don't know if you guys, any of you guys, caught it on um, Nick's channel. It's so funny. And Zahir is such a bad loser. <laughs> it's hilarious. So it's really funny. <laughs> Sorry, I should have brought a straw. Anyway, okay. <laughs> so okay, so here here's the next bit, and this is the part that if you if you're not ready for a mini rant, just Give me five minutes and come back, you know, but I have a little teeny rant and I don't normally get ranty about stuff, but it was, it's one of those like, okay, fine. I've had it. Like, I think because I, I'm so nice all the time that people think, oh, she's not going to say anything or defend herself or like, um, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Or I'll feel like the bad guy if I do, you know what I mean? So as you guys probably know. I started Patreon, which is sort of like a patronage thing. It's a totally voluntary thing. I made a video explaining all about Patreon, and um, I had quite a bit of negativity from a few people. I had a lot of really positive people, and I've actually got five patrons, which I'm so grateful about. But I've had to – see, now I've started the rant. I'm like, I'm so uncomfortable with it that I'm just like, Ugh, but I – it keeps coming up. That's why I'm addressing it. So because it keeps coming up, this is kind of what I, um, why I want to address it. So most of the negativity came from a few people in my jewelry group now. Um, and those few people have been removed from the group. And because it keeps coming up, like people keep saying, where's so-and-so? Like, okay, here's what happened sort of from my point of view i mentioned before i got before i had the video created about what patreon is i mentioned that here's the, the patreon thing and i'm making a video explaining what it is now i'm not creating a site where you like you're never going to have to pay for my videos you're never going to have to pay for my content you i'm not creating a book or a course or anything like that but there were some people that it just drove them nuts that i was doing something separate that was like there was a bit of a cost to it you know but it was like i want to do more giveaways and i want to do more jewelry stuff and i want to be able to do more giveaways but in order to do more jewelry giveaways i have to buy more jewelry and to buy more jewelry that takes money and we all know that youtube is not paying a whole lot of money so i enjoy do like when i say i enjoy doing giveaways i really do i love it you know but it all comes out of my pocket like even when i get even when there are companies like Sophia, the bracelet company, that they say, hey, here, do a review and do a giveaway. I'm still paying for the shipping and all of that stuff. That's my coming out of my pocket, you know? <laughs> Colleen, sorry if you need a no negativity zone. Come back in like five minutes and, and, and it'll all be gone away. Okay. <laughs> sorry. But, yeah, I'm just like, okay. So, for whatever reason, there were a few people who, I'm just going to say, were like too big for their britches or thought they thought they were just, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, I don't know what made them think that it was okay to talk to me the way they did. Like I kept saying as nicely as I could repeatedly, look, I'm not charging for anything. I'm not asking you to give me money. This is a totally separate thing. If you, you know, if people are wanting to participate in it, it's there. If they don't, no big deal. Nothing else is changing. It doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be a thing, right? <laughs> you don't have to do it. I'm not saying you have to do it to be in this group. My jewelry group is not paid, whatever. But there were some people who could not let it go. And even after the fact, came to my videos and were like leaving comments, after I removed them from the group, were coming and leaving comments on my videos. So I just said, you know what? <laughs> Fine, you wanna talk about it? I will talk about it. You know, I did remove them from the group. I feel like that is a group that I created that I am cultivating that we are, you know, I mean, it's, it's like you say, it's a positive place. We're learning together. We're helping each other. I think some of the people felt like they, because they had so much knowledge that they felt they were better or had more authority uh, and could say and do what they wanted to do. Um, and, and yeah, so it is a shame that we lost 
some people because they had some knowledge. However, on the same, okay, <laughs> you can see my little bit of uh, frustration coming out. On the same hand, some of the, some of, like, some of the comments, while they may have knowledge, may have come across off also a bit pompous. And so that wasn't appreciated from the get-go, but I just was like, you know what, let me just let that go. But when it came to the point where I was being personally attacked for something I was doing that was not affecting anyone in any way negatively, I just said that was it, I was done, right? And so, yeah, I've had some people saying, where's so-and-so, where's so-and-so? And I don't want to get into it, so I'm not, like, on the, on the, I'm getting into it now, what am I talking about? But there, I didn't want to, like, type it all out. Well, here's what she said to me, blah, 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 blah. You know, done, right? Okay, fine. Done. <laughs> so if you're wondering, you know, this is the Patreon thing I'm doing. I have a video for it. It's totally separate. If you want to give me a hard time about it, go for it. But no, just because I'm a nice person, just because I'm going to try to be patient with you, even if you're being, I don't want to say fool, but even if you're being foolish, um, I'm going to be as patient as I can with you. But the moment you start attacking me, the moment you start acting like you're better than me or patronizing me or talking down to me, I am going to tell you, okay, you can go now. You know, I don't need that. Okay, there. <laughs> That's probably the maddest you'll ever see me. <laughs> but so that was it, basically. Okay, if you're gone, you can come back now. I should have a bell to ring. Okay, we're done. So let me make sure I said everything I wanted to say. <laughs> I, I could, I'm sorry again. And I, and I had, I did have some friends message me privately and say, oh my gosh, Margaret, I'm so sorry you're having to deal with that. I can't believe that, you know, and I appreciated that because I did have a few people message me and say, I'm really shocked at their behavior and I'm really shocked that they're talking to you that way. So, and, and if they're watching this later, know that, you know, you you presented yourself in that way and other people saw it. It's like you, you got your, you got your bee hanging out lady. You might want to reel that bee right in because everybody can see it. Okay. <laughs> there. Okay. So yeah, I said, I'm usually pretty nice and I try to look at everyone's perspective, but when I'm attacked in a group that I created, no. And then, um, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. So there we go. <laughs> Will says, though I walk through the valley of trolls, I will feel fear in her trolls. Yep, yep. No, I'm glad that you missed it, one witch lady. She says, I, mi I missed what was going on in the group because of family stuff. It was okay. Nothing, yeah. Okay, so that was pretty much it, right? And, and again, I do get a lot of comments like, don't let these people get to you. Don't. <sighs> okay. So that was that. I felt like I needed to say it because I really did. I felt like. People may think that just because I'm nice and try to be patient to, with the ness, the ness that's happening, um, that I'm like, won't say or do or react, whatever. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Uh, Nevada says, you set your boundaries. That was wise, I think. Yeah. And Carmel says, you don't need that type of person in your space. Those people are just jealous. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, the person was so sure, one of the people anyway, was so sure of the knowledge that she possessed that she felt she could speak any way she wanted to me. So when I explained to her, I don't care if you have all the knowledge combined from all of the Antiques Roadshow scholars that know all of the everything that there is to know about vintage and antique, whatever. I don't put up with people talking to me that way. And you can just hit the road. Yeah, I don't care. Like, I know where the internet is. Like, you're not the font of all knowledge. The sun does not shine out of your behind, right? Here's the internet. I will find it. No big deal. There's like a bazillion other people on this world, on this planet, that know stuff, right? And yeah, I know I don't know everything. I don't pretend like I do, though. Okay. Anyway, moving forward, please, now. I've had enough of it, too. Okay, so I'm looking at my screen over here, and it looks like it's frozen. Hopefully, y'all can see everything. Freckle says you need to borrow Nadine's pink boxing gloves. I wish Jason was here. He'd be so proud of me. Because <laughs> he's like, what are you doing? Why aren't you standing up for yourself? You need to put, no, 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 no. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> did y'all you, you watch Jimmy? Oh, what's his name? I always get him. Jimmy Fallon, the Tonight Show guy. Is that Jimmy? No, yeah, Jimmy Fallon. And he plays these, like, he plays music from different musicians and, like, records that you, you should have heard about. And one of it is, like, this preacher that's singing. And, his, and the song, like, it gets stuck in my head. But the song goes, like, hail to the na-na. 
And so like when people, now whenever I hear like people talking, I have that song playing in my head, like, yeah, no, 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 <laughs> you know, no. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it was a funny episode. If you didn't see that tonight show episode. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Moving forward. So um, sales, as far as Etsy and eBay goes, I've had a couple sales, but I've also had two like unpaid buyers and now we're just moving forward. <laughs> Hi, Sherry. You missed it. <laughs> it's probably a good thing. Um, so, um, yeah, and I don't normally get a whole lot of unpaid buyers. but and then, and then on top of it, they're two, like, really strong buyers, not like brand new people with no feedback or this or that. Hey, to Crazy Card. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's been kind of weird. So I've had to file, like, open two unpaid item cases just this week which was weird. And then, and then on top of that, I had a, uh, a problem buyer, which I have not had in a long time. So I had this, um, metal hat pin holder that sold metal, right? So I, I shipped it out the way I would ship it in a box. And you know, it's not, it's metal, right? I didn't bubble wrap it. I don't bubble wrap everything. I, apparently if some people do, I didn't bubble wrap it. It's metal. I packed it in a box, you know, tissue paper, wrapping, you know, and I wrapped it up in tissue paper and then, you know, did the craft paper, then my normal thing, right? Anyway, the buyer gets it and sends me an email or a message, you know, through eBay saying, you know, I'm super disappointed. The box was crushed. The, the happen holder was bent and, you know, I'm so disappointed you didn't bubble wrap it. So anyway, I, I sent a message back saying, you know, I'm so sorry to hear that, you know, if you, could you please take a picture or send me a picture of the, the box, the, the hat pin holder, I'd, I'd like, you know, then I can see where I, what I need to do moving forward. Because I was, I'm, if it's destroyed, I'm perfectly happy refunding, you know, then I can take the pictures and I can go file a claim with the, the post office if it was, you know, messed up. Because they were like, it looked like something just, you know, was dropped on it, this huge box or something dropped on it. So I'm just thinking, you know what? I'm, you know, thinking in my head, not saying to them, because of course eBay reads all the messages. So I'm just thinking, okay, even if it was bubble wrap, if like a 50 pound box fell on this little box, it didn't matter if it's bubble wrap, that, that metal thing's going to get messed up. Right. So, um, they send me a message back saying I opened the box with a box cutter. And then I was like, I'm not getting any messages, like it, pictures here. So I messaged back, I'm like, hey, you know, the pictures didn't attach. Could you send them again? And they sent back another message, kind of like, mm. I said, like I said, I opened the box with a box cutter and threw it away. I'm like, well, no, you didn't say that. You just said you opened it with a box cutter. But I didn't say that to them. Here's what I want you to take away with this from this. Be professional at all times. Because this turns into a, a thing where they're trying to extort money back from me for because they don't want to get a bad review or they want to give me a bad review if I don't give them money back. Um, yeah, so they, they threw the box away, right? So I was like, well, you still have the item. Can you send me a picture of the item at least? Uh, oh, well, now I was able to bend it back into shape, they say. I was able to bend it back into shape so it looks exactly like the pictures now. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> you threw the box away so I can't see the damaged box. You've fixed the item so that it looks exactly like my pictures. So he even used the terms item looks as described and you want, it was just like, what? Okay. Um, yeah, it wasn't sure. Yeah. I had, I had, you know, it went priority and everything. Um, so they just, they kept refusing to send pictures. I was like, well, I said, if you don't send a picture, I don't know how I can help you. You know, I'm, I'm sorry this happened. And they were like, well, my, you know, my review is going to ref be reflected in the way you're, whatever. And I'm like, okay. Um, so they, they just kept like trying to like get me to say something. Finally they said, um, and I kept saying, well, you know, if you'd like to send it back, I'll give you a full refund. If you'd like to send it back, I'm happy to give you a, a full refund. And I said that on almost all my, my messages. Finally they said, what would make me happy is if you would refund my shipping. And I said, well, I can't refund your shipping if you're not sending me any pictures showing damage. You know, you're not sending me any proof that what ha what you're saying has happened has happened. I don't see the box. I don't, you know, basically, but professionally is how I wrote it. And then they wrote back this like all caps. Whoa, I can't believe you're calling me a liar. What you're saying, I'm so untrustworthy. I'm definitely going to put this in the feedback that you're, you know, calling me a liar and blah, 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 blah. Um, so then I was just like, okay, now what? 
So I wrote back again, like, look, I didn't call you a liar. Once again, you know, you're, you're more than welcome to send it back for a refund. Um, I, but then I also added on there. Um, I, I see that you are a, you know, you buy a lot on eBay. So I have a feeling, you know, eBay's policy about feedback extortion and trying to blackmail people to get money back. Um, so you're more than welcome to leave me a negative review, but keep in mind that I followed eBay's policy to the T to this and you know if you choose to leave me a negative feedback I will definitely be reporting it to eBay so um, they just wrote back do what you have to do <laughs> and that was it and they never left me feedback so I think that kind of like saying to them look you you can do this but you can't I'm not no because I was like man I really don't feel like dealing with calling eBay I'm just gonna like try to head this off at the pass and just say look I'm doing the right thing eBay's policy you're trying to get money out of me I'm done. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I could have called eBay and I can probably still go and um, uh, report them. OM, OMFUG says I would have thrown money at them just to get rid of them. And that's the thing. I think that's what they wanted. Uh, that's probably exactly what they wanted. And they probably get away with that all the time for the same reason. But this has been my week of hell to the no no. <laughs> I'm not putting up with that BS right now. So done. So I didn't um, just send them money because. No, they're probably doing that to everybody. Forget it. Anyway, <laughs> no, not this week. No. Um, but yeah, for sure, try to keep your messages as positive as possible to the, the buyers. Wow, this is really ranty today. I'm almost uncomfortable going forward. <laughs> yeah, they were pretty ugly. Clearing clutter for clarity. They were. Yeah, Karen says you call their bluff works every time. <laughs> Not this week, Nevada. I may be back to being a, a pushover next week. But this week, no. <laughs> no. Okay, so again, Will says uh, we get ripped off all the time. Yep, scammer's going to scam. Yep, yep. Um, Kathleen says they caught you on the wrong week. Yep. That's right. <laughs> oh, the chat's funny. Uh oh, somebody got a neutral feedback. The buyer lied on it, called eBay, and they removed it. Yeah, they, and that's the thing. Like, I knew they would remove it, but I was just thinking, man, I don't want to have to go. Because I think that's what they knew. They know, like, as a seller, like, you don't have the time to, like, call eBay and deal with this. Like, okay, fine. I'll just give you your money back. Just go, you know? <sighs> but I know. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Let's move forward again. So, okay, in the in our group, International League of Thrifters, and um, we're doing store reviews still. My fault, I forgot to post the la this past week's. It goes up on Tuesday, and that's what the week has been. I totally forgot to post it. So this week we'll start again. Every Tuesday, a new shop goes up, and people give tips on you know how listings look and ways to try to get more sales. So far, very positive feedback on it. Yeah. Okay, and then. Um, Okay, so also this week, I, I, yeah, I'm looking slowly through here. So I've had quite a few sales from haul videos, which has been really nice. And I've got some messages that I have to go through because the one that I did yesterday, is it yesterday? Look at me. No, it was Friday. The one I did Friday, I have a few people that were interested in a number of things um, from that haul. So I'm really excited about that. It's fun for me because then, like, I'm finding stuff that people want and I'm able to you know, recoup some of the money I may be finding it, but then you're able to get it from for a usually better price. If it's like gold or like fancy schmancy, might be a little more. But normally it's just like, yeah, we can make a deal. Uh, Colleen says, I find designing t-shirts cathartic in situations like this. Yes, <laughs> I agree. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's been really good. Um, what else have I got notes for? Okay, so I still have my link down below if you're interested in starting on Etsy to get 40 free listings. That's down there. Um, I've got a lot of pictures taken of bigs. Um, so I need to start getting pictures of jewelry done because I've got a lot of jewelry. <laughs> I can't say that. Um, but it kind of feels like not like I've got this mountain of treasure around me and it's, <laughs> I, I like it. So, yeah. Thanks, Carol's Gift Shop. Mar really bad week. Sending good vibes your way. Uh, Kunzi says, Margaret, you're too awesome to be bad. I love your rants and a whole bunch of stuff I learned from you. Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay, so um, now merch stuff. 
<laughs> I'm okay. Oh, I'm trying to read and focus, which is not always good. Let's see. Will says, I like the people that say, do you think that this item will fit me? It's like, how would I know? Um, and then one which lady, what do you think about the forced Etsy payments now, Margaret? I don't know what that forced Etsy payments is. I guess I need to go check that out. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, so on merch, my sister has been approved, which has made Randy kind of nuts. My sister has been approved, so she's super excited about this, but she has no idea what to do at all. So she and I are going to be doing some videos. Um, Mary says, you need to up your ranting game. You're too happy and giggly. <laughs> I, I don't do it very often, so it feels funny. You know, like, even when I'm like, I feel like, like a little puffy bunny that's like trying to be mad, like, I'm so mad at you, gosh darn it, you know? And then the people are just like, oh, look how cute and mad she is. <laughs> that's what it feels like to me, yeah. <laughs> so um, <laughs> my so my sister has been approved, and so she and I are gonna be doing some videos where she is, asking questions and trying to figure out the whole merch thing because there's so many people that are in the same boat where they're like they're approved and they're like ah now what you know so she is um she's coming here so i guess we're gonna maybe do one together while she's here and hopefully more fun ride-alongs because that was lots of fun um so that'll be good um yeah randy hasn't been <laughs> approved did he change his name yet i changed it for him <laughs> okay let's be honest i went on there and, and changed it for him. One which lady said on Etsy, they are making everyone take Etsy payments. We're shutting down their shops on May 18. Oh, I need to go check that out. Ooh. Does that mean like direct payments rather than PayPal? I'm not sure what that, I'll have to go, I'll find out, I'll find out, because I don't know. Um, is Elaine going to do B shirts? Yeah, and she kind of is through me. So that's, sorry, something got in my mouth. Um, so some of the shirts that, 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 like every month when I send her money, it's generally that that genre type shirt. Rose says he should call it testing one, two, three T's, right? So he can get it kind of in there. <laughs> yep, yep. Um, anyway, so that'll be fun. Um, and I do have, like, I put the part one up of our ride along video. And so I have part two I need to finish editing to put up uh, because we had a really good time running around together. So yeah, that'll be good. And then um, this week, I've had two people ask me to review their merch shirts and and want to pay me. And and, that, and when I say this, like I'm not turning into like a consultant or anything like that. But when they said, "Hey, I will pay you such and such to look at you know ten of my shirts and give me tips um, and pointers," and I was like, "Okay." I, you know, like, I'm not an expert. I will tell you what I see and what I would do. And we'll, you know, and if I see your shirts and I'm like, they look fine to me, then I'm not taking any money. Right. So, um, so yeah, I, I'm hoping that was helpful to the people that, that I approached me and asked me to do this and helped. So, um, yeah, anyway, so that was kind of cool. I was like, I, me, okay. I mean, I guess, cause I don't know. So I'll tell you what I think and what I see. Why not, right? So there's that. And let's see, do I ever list glass that has a chip in it? I have, not a whole lot. Um, but some people, you know, it depends on the glass piece. If it's just like a blah glass piece, but if we're talking like carnival glass or cranberry glass, certain kinds of glass, um, that, yeah, I mean, it would, it would lose a lot of value. A lot, yeah. <laughs> Bye, Rose. <laughs> Gotta go. She says, rant away. Everybody needs a release. Bye-bye. Excuse me. <clears throat> lots of uh, lots of uh, requests for what Randy should call his um, shirt names. <laughs> yeah, his brand name. If you missed it, his he had originally put as his brand name Test Tease. So I explained to him that might say you are trouble to Amazon and they may not want somebody whose brand name is Testes, maybe, just a, just a hunch, you know. I don't know what you're talking about, Jackie. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. 
Um, so this week on YouTube, once again, I'm almost at 10K, which is super funny. Not funny, but awesome. <laughs> I don't, I'm reading in the chat. And you know when you're trying to say words and you read a word and it comes out of your mouth? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so on YouTube this week, I might do a sales update. I feel kind of like every week lately I've been doing one. I'm like, not a whole lot of sales this week. So I might just try to chunk them more into a monthly thing for now until things pick up. Um, and the reason is that I've been doing 15 merch shirts a day. It takes time. So it's hard to like get a lot of listings up. And so I'm not being so hard on myself. I'm still reselling. It's just slower. <laughs> but that's okay because merch is doing really well. So it all evens out. I guess I could do a merch sales update and just say, and uh, on top of that, I got a couple sales on Etsy and eBay. Yeah. Such a guy thing, right, Mary and Sherry? <laughs> Mary and Sherry. Okay. Um, so then um, Wednesday, you know, we got merch talk with Jeff and Joe with the guys. So that'll be good. We don't have a guest this week, so we're just going to be talking stuff. And hopefully sometime this week I'll get that other ride along with my sister up. And uh, let's see what else. Just, I mean, just random stuff going, you know, the normal, like, I have a merch Q&A video coming out, and I've got some unboxings, which I'll be doing on this channel, and then, like, kind of supplementing on the other one until I figure out a good balance between the two channels, and that's pretty much it, I think. How are we doing? Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I have some questions, a few, let's see, what do I have, three? Three questions <clears throat> that I thought I would go ahead and answer. Maybe, maybe I chose these questions, two of them I chose because I was feeling kind of grumpy, <laughs> ranting, maybe I'm in a bad mood. <clears throat> so one question is, um, I have a Mother of Pearl lipstick holder on my Etsy store, and I don't know if I have it priced right. Okay, this is not a ranty question. Um, I tried to research it and see prices all over the place. How do you know you're pricing things right, or do you just go with what is comfortable? Um, I generally, generally start higher because I feel like I can always bring it down if I want. So I, I generally will look at the higher end of what's out there and go with that because sometimes people have it priced too low. You know what I mean? And then um, I'll come back to you in the chat. Hang on. Um, next, uh, I have... Neville said, I have some rings. I did the scratch test with 10K. It took nearly two minutes to dissolve. How can you help me? Oh, could you help me with this if this means anything? So for me with that, what I think it means, which I could be wrong, is that if it's vintage, it could be like a 9K or a 12K or something like that. Um, I could be totally wrong. But when I took, when I did a, a scratch test with an earring and it came up as what did I test it with? It came up with my, my, my tested positive for my 14 K, right? 10 K, um, stayed normal. 14 K made the, the line turn, um, kind of brown. Like it was still there. You couldn't see the gold gold, but it turned kind of like a brownish color. Um, so when I took the earrings to the gold guy and had them test it, they said what that means is that it's like, because they're vintage or antique, they were probably 12 K. So they, they showed up really strong for 10K, then they were um, darker for the 14K because it wasn't that strong, but it was close. So that's why i scientifically thinking that <laughs> that might be what's going on there. Maybe it's like it took, if it got darker with the 10K acid, but it didn't disappear for a long time, that it might be a 9K because 9K was a com more common and it depends on if it's vintage, you know what I mean? Um, vintage times. And if I'm... If I'm totally wrong, that's awesome. Leave me a comment down below and, and educate me. Just don't be a jerk about it or you're going to hear it. <laughs> right? Okay. Then, thumbs up, everybody. <laughs> then, another question I have is, does 9251 Silver need any other marks to say that it's actually silver? Um, no, not necessarily, but as the jewelry guy likes to tell me, stamps are cheap, so um, still test it um, to see, you know, if it's, silver for sure uh because like i want to make sure or i'll if if i can't prove it then i'll at least say it's marked 925 um and then i it's untested but marked 925 or it's magnetic or it's not magnetic not magnetic mark 925 going like in that vein and then here's here's my favorite see dila p 
C, this is his name, C D La P says, how much patience do you think people have to wait for you to get to the point? You're still doing hellos after five minutes. Goodbye. Bye, C, C D La P. See you later. Anyway, those are my Q's and A's for the day. Um, <laughs> going back to the chat before I sign off. Um, yeah, no. And I, and my, I was telling my sister, you need to make a YouTube channel. She's like, I don't know, because you know she's a beekeeper. She's really amateur. She's just starting out. And I was like, you, you should share your process, like what you're learning along the way. And she's like, Margaret, bee, bee, bee people can be really like ruthless if you get out wrong information. I'm like, well, if you're just saying this is, my, I'm learning. You know, if you've got tips for me, and she's like, well, do you ever get mean comments? I was like, girl every day so I've started like taking screenshots before I delete them and sending them to her like I got one yesterday it said blah 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 like okay send that to her look what I got and some of them are just like oh my gosh you're so annoying okay so that look at look Elaine they I get them all the time you just have to hit delete because you know it's just some fool sitting behind the now I called you a fool sorry troll leave me a bad message whatever anyway but I told her don't you know the first time it starts happening you're like oh my gosh you know and then no. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so well, let me go into the chat real quick. Um, Sherry stuck at 10 on merch. And Sherry says, tell Jeff he needs to do a something, something. Oh, I don't know. Okay, a mango kitty show. Yeah, that'd be fun. And uh, Crazy says, I found a glass dresser box for 1800s. Do you have a site, a go-to site for glass? I, I'll have to look and see. Because I have a few sites that, that I have on um like groups in Facebook that I would send things to to ask about, but I don't necessarily because it depends on the glass piece. You know what I mean? Like some of them are more specific, like this is for carnival glass. This is for Cambridge glass. This is for, it just kind of depends, you know? Um, yeah, simple designs, Sherry. Absolutely. Thanks, Colleen. That's good. Uh, yep. Okay. All right. And okay, Sherry says she's waiting for the 60 day period and putting and then putting up 10 new ones. I wouldn't do that. Like if you feel like this is not a strong shirt, like if you've got a, a better one in mind, like swap them out. Like make one, you know, like deactivate it. You know, save all the, the info on it in case you change your mind later. Like take it down and put up another one that you think might do better, you know, and do that. But unless you're like, these are all awesome. That's I mean, that's what Joe did, and it seemed to work for him. Paula says, I love your makeup unboxings. You know what? I have t I have my my Sephora and my Ipsy out there. I've had it for like a week, but I haven't done it because of the same reason. Like the trolley meanness that somebody left comments on on the last one. Like I got so much hate for my last uh, Sephora Ipsy unboxing that I was just like not, and that maybe because I was in a bad mood already. I'm like, I'm not doing it this week. <laughs> Forget it. You know, I was in such a, grumpy mood that I haven't done it yet but I have them but yeah same deal I was like if if I put this video out I have one more person say see the mm, mm. mama says give them all five fingers not one right <laughs> yes no road rage no road rage I'm giving you all five okay <laughs> that happens in the car a lot anyway okay I'm in a mood I think I got some sun I wonder, wonder if that's what, what happened. Um, Colleen says, most of my designs sell within 30 days. I would rotate them. Okay, good. That's what I just said. Good, good, good. Um, Rusty Lace, yes. Okay. That's why you read the chat, not the comments. That's true. That's true. Because usually in the chat, most people are pretty, pretty nice. Yeah. Do they email you? No. Elaine didn't get an email. They just, she just happened to look and she was in. I need to go check for Randy. <laughs> Nevada, are you on yet? Oh, Nevada, okay. Clear and clutter, need to change my designs. Just to that Friday, that's what she's saying. Okay, so alternate the T's. Yeah, that you could do that, yeah. Um, I know, yeah, ignore the trolls, hit him with the band hammer one, which lady says, I know. Um, mark, uh, mark the comments to need approval. Oh, do you? Okay, yeah, yeah. Right, Turtle Trader says, my sister's a hoot. She could do great with shirts, with her humor after, right? Isn't she funny? Like, sometimes I feel like I'm funny, and then when I'm with her, and I'm like sometimes speechless at, at the things that she says or does or the things that come out of her mouth, and I'm just like, all I can do is sit and laugh. Um, so I think 
I think she would do really well with her own um, YouTube channel for sure. Yeah. Uh, could you imagine? <laughs> she just got to learn how to like not let people bother her, you know. Nevada says, how about a grumpy unboxing video? I think I will. That's a good idea. I'm going to do, because most of the time with my, my beauty unboxings, I say anti-beauty blogger. I do like makeup. Look, I'm wearing some, right? Look, look. But there's sometimes it's funny, right? When you're like, I don't know what this is. What is this? What is schmear cream? Am I supposed to know where schmear cream goes? Does it go on my hair? Does it go on my, I mean, remember the time I got the ones that were like, they were wipes and I didn't know what, like, what are these like makeup wipes or something? And it turns out they were not wipes. They were like lady wipes for like the lady part wipes. Okay. I'm going to lose my G rating here. And I was just like, what? No, I was about to smear, like clean my face with lady wipes. Okay. That's funny. And that needs to be mentioned. Like, no, you need to be very specific with what this is. Right. <laughs> yeah. And it's funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On that note, now we need to move away from talking about lady parts. Um, <laughs> hopefully something you were able to take something away from this today instead of it may have just been me ranting but that's cool <laughs> and, and just says hashtag lady wipes i was surprised and a friend of mine my, my friend barbara who's actually done a munch pack unboxing with me she saw that and she was like you don't keep lady wipes in your purse i was like no i don't what okay no 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 okay let's just stop that there let's just stop that there <laughs> You keep drawing me out. <laughs> oh gosh, I hit a button. I don't know what I hit over there. Okay, let me just stop pushing buttons. Okay, thanks so much everybody um, for coming to watch and listening to my bit of a ranty video today, which is unusual. I have 84 viewers right now. Hit that thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, why not subscribe and hear more maybe rants coming in the future and possible lady wipe talk. And I'll talk to you later. <laughs> See you later. Bye.